we know that there's frozen water on Mars now, but we're interested more is in the past, if there was flowing water on Mars, for example, or liquid water. In a new study, scientists from Northern Illinois University and the Lunar and Planetary Institute in Houston used an innovative computer program to produce a new and more detailed global map of the valley networks on Mars. People start to uh, get more data and uh, start to look at these uh, remarkably similar features, like uh, river-like uh, uh, features uh, we call valley networks on Mars that are very similar to, to rivers on Earth. The findings indicate the networks are more than twice as extensive, up to 2.3 times longer in length, as has been previously depicted in the only other planet-wide map of the valleys. This research adds to the growing evidence suggesting the red planet once had an ocean. The researchers created an updated planet-wide map of the valley networks by using a computer algorithm that parses topographic data from NASA satellites and recognizes valleys by their U-shaped signature. The valley networks on Mars exhibit some resemblance to the river systems on Earth, suggesting the red planet was once warmer and wetter than present. There are two hypotheses about this valley network formation. One is um, it's formed just like on Earth uh, by rainfall runoff, and uh, that would require a warm climate, a warm and wet climate on early Mars. And the other is uh, it could form under cold climate, which is uh, by groundwater sapping. It's the process where groundwater seeps out through a, a slope and uh, erode or weather the, um, the surface and undermine it, and uh, the surface will retreat. And this will also create the, the valley. And two, both types of feature uh, have been found uh, on Mars. Uh, but our new study basically find more of the valley networks. Uh, the drainage density is uh, similar to that uh, of uh, on Earth. I just think it's very important that research like this continues to develop because we hear this all the time as you research something, you get more questions than you answers. I just believe that as long as we keep researching all aspects of not just Mars and hydrology, but science, it, it will benefit us and allow us to understand how everything works.